Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Linda from Linda's Stampin' Escape, and I want to welcome you tonight. It is Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. Come on in. Say hello. Let me know you're here. It is our Tuesday night Facebook Live. And today I am showcasing the new Sweet Talk Suite. What better time than right before Valentine's? Sorry for that brief intermission. I had to turn the sound down on my computer. I do not like to listen to myself. <laughs> You know how that goes. Good evening, Cheryl. And Kathy is here. Awesome. Welcome, ladies. So glad you could make it tonight. It's a good day to stay home, isn't it? I don't know. It's It almost feels warm at 27 degrees compared to the minus 2 we had yesterday. Woo. That's all right. Keeps me home in the house stamping. Hello, Barb and Barb. We got two Barbs and a Beth. And Sandy's back. All right, you guys. Oh, I'm so happy to see you all. So make sure you say hello if you popped in. I see a, we have a few more watchers than we have commenters. So that is fun. You can just sit back and watch if the, if you like. So. Like I said, today I am showcasing the new Sweet Talk Suite in the January through June mini catalog. And this suite begins on page 8, just in case you want to follow along. So it's, it's, it's kind of big. We have some cool stuff here. Little check marks means that I have it. This is my catalog. <laughs> hi Lucy, hi Jenny. All right, so a lot of cool stuff in this suite. And a suite is everything. So you know how they talk about bundles, and the bundle is always the stamp set and the dies or the stamp set and a punch or something like that. But a suite consists of all the coordinating products, and you can get it in one lucky number. So... This suite is actually um, $86.25, so it's about, um, I don't know, $14 or so away from a double celebration. Don't forget, we are just kicking off celebration. There we go. We have our celebration going on. Celebration is when you can earn free products. So, for every $50 you spend, you can earn free stuff, and let's say you have a workshop, you can get extra goodies, so it's, it's a whole lot of fun in January and February here with Stampin' Up! So, I don't want to spend too much time on that, because we're going to focus on that later, and you can always... Um, you know, message me any questions you may have about that. But, so here is the, there's like three pages here. It's pretty cool. So here is the stamp set. Sweet Conversations. And it goes with the dies. Here's the dies. Here's some of the dies. I have pulled some out already. And you can see that I draw in where my dies are. That way I know if I'm missing something. And then I write down how many pieces, although that is noted on the packaging as well. Ooh, right there. So quantity, 16 pieces. It'll show you that. So I like to write it down on here too. And then again, I just trace all my stuff um, 
so that I know what I have and if I'm missing some. We don't want to be missing anything. Then we have our gorgeous designer series paper, also called Sweet Talk. And silly me, I buried it. So here it is. I just want to give you a quick glimpse of it. We're going to be using a couple different ones tonight. This will be one of them. All right. And then each one is double-sided. So that says love in many languages. And then we have this one fun candy one for a lady who works at the candy store. Um, this is going to be on our first project. Then we have a nice water wash look here. We have some suckers, some more sweets for Valentine's Day, and then a plain background. And these plain backgrounds can be used for anything. You don't have to hold those just to Valentine's Day. And hearts in general can be used all year long for new babies, for I love you cards, a friend card. I like this one. Coordinates. There's the nice heart one. Talk about Valentine's. That one kind of reminds me of Valentine's. The colors in our designer paper pack or blushing bride and then you got some granny apple green in there highland heather petal pink pool party real red and so saffron so we got a little bit a taste of all the colors from that palette and then that's a pretty one with all the little hearts all right so that is that and Sure, I think what I'll do is just maybe introduce the rest as we go along or because we have the beautiful red ribbon and that I do not have at my fingertips. I believe it's upstairs on my kitchen table. Um, and then the gingham embossing folder. I'll be sharing that with you tonight. Hello, Dawn. And then these fun and beautiful iridescent rhinestones we might be using those on all our projects they're just so pretty you know me i like my bling okay so let's get started last week i shared um the new horizons and with that we took one six by six piece of paper and turned it into four cards but holy cow what would happen if you did that with our 12 by 12 well, let's just say you would get 16 cards out of one sheet. Now, if you need to make, like, Valentine's for the office, or if you have a grandchild or something that may need those, how perfect would that be? So, you can get, I just cut one 3-inch strip off of my 12 by 12 and then I cut that into three. So again, you would get 16 cards like this. And how fun is that? So let's just grab one of these. It doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to pick one for now. And then we're going to make some quick and easy cards. Because we got three of them we're going to do tonight. And they're not hard, but they're all different. Not like last week. We kind of, um, we took last week's cards and they were a lot alike. So I wanted to make this one a little bit different. And I'm having trouble with this one. So let's hope this one works a little better. There we go. And why don't I just do this? Because then it would be really easy, right? There we go. Our take your pick tool. If this isn't in your um, stamp room, it should be. And I think it's only $10. There we go. We're just going to pop this up. 
Now our card base is the regular A2 size, so eight and a half by five and a half and scored or folded at four and a quarter. So we're just gonna put this here, or how about uh, look at you can go any way you want with this. I think I'm going this way. All right. There we go. And I forgot to show you that with this heart designer paper, these little dies fit on there. They don't fit perfectly, but they just fit fun. And this is a watercolor wash anyway, so I kind of like the border that it leaves. And I am going to use one of those like right over here. So I don't know. Um got a couple cut out already. And one says hug me, the other one says you are cute. But um I think we're going to do the you are cute. And that is going to um give us a little contrast here in the corner and it's also going to highlight the other pool party ones down here let's cover that little spot up right there now see how i'm hanging over the edge that's just fine because we're going to grab another one of our little dimensionals and we're going to tuck him right under there there we go and i'm just going wild over here all right now let's Put a little greeting on here and we're going to take that out of our stamp set and grab a block and just put that on now when you're stamping with the photopolymers it's nice to have a little pad so i am using the mat here i think the mat is on page <laughs> uh, let me think about that for a little bit but it's in the back of the book with the rest of the accessories, but all right. I am going to go with our border here, and we're going to highlight the Highland Heather. So let's grab that one. We're going to ink this up. And I ink this way because if you don't like all that ink that sits here or on your um, stamps, then this gives you a lot more control. There we go. Happy to have you in my life. And you are cute. So you can give that to a friend, a grandchild. Don't know about co-workers, but we're just going to clean this off. I have a dirty side and a clean side. And we're going to put that right back in there. Somebody I know, meaning myself, has a tendency to leave them sitting on her blocks. So I like to put them away and then I don't lose them. So there is card number one. Simple and cute. And don't forget, you can make... 16 cards like this with one sheet of the 12 by 12 paper. So if you need to make Valentine's, now you know what to do. All right, now the next one we're gonna do, I cut out even more hearts. And I'm gonna keep the pad here because I'll be using it later. I mean, <laughs> I'll be needing it later. Hello, oh gosh. And what I did on this one is I used our embossing folder because I wanted to add a little texture to this. This is a gingham embossing folder. All right, we're going to have a little fun. And yes, I was practicing and I didn't like the way that looked. So I actually cut this piece down and we're going to stamp it down there. So trial and error, yes, we do it too. Grab my dimensionals back over here. Picking off the tops and then putting them in the corners. Okay. 
I wanted to make sure that I showed the Valentine or the Conversation Hearts early enough so that in case you fell in love with it, like I did, that you could make sure you got that in time to make your Valentines. There we go. I am going to add two more. There and there. Don't like sa saggy card fronts, do we, ladies? Nope. All right. Tap that off into the garbage can. And let's place this on here. All right. Come on. I see I got a little bit trying to get myself a nice even border on three sides and then letting a little bit extra here so that we can put our greeting on there. Now we're going to grab all those cute little hearts that we cut out and we're going to kind of pile them together see what we come up with. I also cut out a piece from this glitter paper and I need to show you this because it's really kind of cool and it is on page 67 there it is you'll find it with the rainbows but it looks really blue here and the pink is pink but um i think it looks more like our pool party when that hits it i don't know you tell me isn't that pretty So I thought I would pull out the text me, which I started with earlier, and decided, nah, I text only when I have to. It's not one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going to put this gorgeous paper right in the center. And then we're going to do... Our little you are cute here and hug me because we are showing the ones we love how much we love them all right and now we got BFF and love you over here so we can put these where we want this guy's kind of chubby I might have to move him over there and grab another another one. Let's see. Well, here's a skinny BFF. Let's do that one. Because he fits better that way. You can cut a whole bunch of them out and then you'll just have a whole lot of fun. This one here, I think we're going to pop up. There are two on the end. wild on me and let's tip this nope I like it down it's almost like you're creating with me all right <laughs> Beth said that is why there are two sides you are 100% correct all right, we're going to tip this one this way. And then, see this cute little die here? All right. So I cut it out of some designer paper, and then it looked like that with the leftovers, but it also cut that pretty little piece out. And I really like that. That is cute. But it also left me all these little pieces, cute little hearts. That is what I'm going to be using. And I need my take your pick tool so I can move these around. There we go. All right. Now look, I can use either one of these sides for 
my card. And I wanted to jump up and get my little guys here. So we're going to use the all pink one. Right up here. Let's put him there. Okay, so we're going to pop them as well. We got rhinestones, I mean little tops of my dimensionals all over the place. On this one, because it's next to the pink, I think I'm going to leave it with that two-tone color there. Looks kind of cute. Actually, whoops, where'd he go? Okay, I lost him. Oh, he's stuck on my shirt. All right, I'm going to go a little bit closer here and bring this one over here. And then this peachy color one, I'm going to bring that one up in here. There we go. Let's go here. Or should we go down here? I don't know. Sometimes I have a longer time trying to figure out where I'm going to put stuff. Speaking of which, let's pick this one up and save him for later. We'll pick all these little cuties up and stick them over there. And get these out of our way. There we go. And now we're going to bring our bling in. So I'm just going to cut my edges here and then just slide that open. That way I can slide it back in the case when I'm done. All right, so now we are going to add some beautiful iridescent rhinestones. And I'm thinking... I'm going to put that one back for a minute, and I'm going to grab the little ones, because I want one on this heart, cute, and then we're going to do one on this heart, and then maybe get that big guy. Two over here. Let's go right there. There's your triangle. And I'm also looking at how I placed my other hearts as well. So now you got some bling. We have a lot of texture on this card and depth. And we are going to pull in the blue color to pull in this and this, which then would be our pool party. And this time, it's going to say Happy Valentine's Day. So tap on that. I hope I got that on straight. I'm just going to Lightly hit that right there. All right. There's some fun. And we have enough pink in here, I thought. And then with our, um, the petal pink and the blushing bride. Look so different, don't they? But I, I love that bling bling. All right, that's fun. And these really highlight our pieces that are sitting lower, our little hearts. All right, card number two, done. And you got to see how these fun little dies worked. Oh my gosh, this there's so many cool ones in here. So we're going to be playing. Now, speaking of dies, 
I'm not going to be showing this one tonight. However, I will do a video or a card at least with that um, little die. It actually makes like a little envelope. So I decided to do the tag die. So what I did is just took some scrap and I cut out a bunch of the tags. And I haven't done a slimline card for a while, so I thought I would do that. And for me, I there's a lot of different dimensions out there, but I like mine to fit in a regular um, envelope, the, you know, business size. So I always cut mine seven and a quarter by eight and three quarters. And then I score and fold at three and three quarters. So this works really nice. And then I cut out, because I really want to make this one pop, um, a black mat. And that measures three and a quarter by eight and three quarters. Then I picked out this cute paper with the little sweet suckers on. Little Valentine suckers are so cute and very popular at this time of year. All right, I am putting away my pool party here and I'm pulling out the real red. So this is what we're going to pull the real red out of this one. So let's just set that there. And we are actually going to stamp the hearts. So let me pull back this cute little stamp set. With their cotton and now you can tell which one I was using right I like these because they are very soft so you can see the little lines that's exactly what they're supposed to look like they are supposed to look like a watermark so I love them okay and here's what my paper looked like after I cut out all my tags. Now let's stamp. I'm going to slide this over because we don't want to get ink on that. Oh, and look at me. I'm doing it the wrong way. I'm going to stamp this one here. And again, what this pad does for you is it gives you um, a little cushion. So when you're using a photopolymer, you don't have the cushion like you do on the red rubber stamps, right? Because they have that little foam underneath there. So let's put this guy here. I have been paper saving techniques for a long time. And that's one of them. See how pretty they look? All right, I'm just gonna take a scrap piece of paper and clear that off and then get my, I know it's clean when it comes on that side and looks good. All right, so now we are going to take our dies and cut those out as you can see. Cuts out very nice. And let's pull them all together. We'll do the Martha Stewart style, right? So now we have our dies. Let's just put that over there. And I'm sorry, our tags. And I did four. And I have my hearts all cut out. And now I need to get my stuff ready here. So we can move this over to the side for now. And we can put our adhesive on. And I use the stamp and seal. I love it. It sticks really, really good. So I like to eyeball this up nice before I even try to stick it down because once it's down it's down there we go 
All right. So we're just going to set this off to the side because I got to play a little bit because I wasn't real sure how I wanted to do this. I want that black to pop, so I'm going to flip this. A little adhesive there. And look at what carried over. Yep, from our holiday catalog, the gingham ribbon carried over. Wow, does that make this pop or what? I love it. I should post all of the items that carried over so that you guys can use anything you want. I, on the other hand, cannot. So I do not want to show you items that discontinued because if you fall in love with it and then you can't buy it, it would break both our hearts. So I only show you what you can get your hands on. There we go. That is cute. All right. Gonna get that centered there. Got a lot of white there to help that pop and tone down our black. And now it's time to start putting on our little tags. Now, we can go this way. You're going to have to help me here because I want you guys to tell me how you'd like to do this. I can do this with just these running down here. And of course, I'm going to do a little bow. So we're, I'm just going to tie a knot in here. Voila. Okay. And then we'll cut. And cut. And then that will go up here. So we'll have a little bow that goes up there. So we can run these down just like this. Or we can tip them. And I know it's not going to be running along with this, but this is still just going to give us some fun color. And then we can tip these two this way, and we can add a little greeting here. So, here's my question. Do you want just the three hearts, or would you like to see it with a greeting? So I'm just going to make my little bows while you guys... Put in the comments how you would like it. Three hearts straight down the front? Or would you like the greeting on there and tipped like this? So straight or tipped? I have... It's two to one right now, everybody. Oh, now we're tied. So who's going to be our tiebreaker? We have two with the greeting and two with the straight down. Oh, yep. Greetings winning. The greetings winning. <laughs> All right. The greeting it is. And after, after this, I think what I'll do is make another card like this. And we will do one straight down and I will post that one on my blog tomorrow so then you'll get to see both of them and you will see four cards on my blog tomorrow along with this video so I always share them on my blog the following day and then I always put my little videos on YouTube so that you can just go in there and look at my name and actually I will put a link in my blog tomorrow for my YouTube page and that way you will have access to all of them without trying to search through Facebook looking for these or even on my blog so we'll put all them little cuties there look at Oh my gosh, that just really adds. So let's get our real red back over here. All right. And we need our pad. Let's go with that. Slide that just over there a bit. And we are going to add that greeting. So 
since our stamp set really only has two besides the you are cute and all that, I am going to use the happy to have you in my life because I just think that's perfect for anything. Heart off of this one, greeting back on this one. Let's get that inked up. So I know that you ladies who sit in my classes, as I do this, you're going tap, 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 because that is exactly <laughs> how I taught them when these new pads came out. Stamp up and tap, tap, tap. Gives you a nice look at the ink and you don't get all that schmutching from the ink because you pushed your stamp set too far into the and it's it's easy to do that because we are stronger than we know us women we're strong so it's easier to just hold this and tap that than it is to squish 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 we want to get too heavy with that so there we go and i also think we really need to add a little bit more. Oh, I got bling, bling, bling. They got all the cute little ones hiding underneath. So let's grab them out again. And we are going to put one on each one of our hearts. Just because I think it's so cute. Who doesn't want a little bling? Now, if you were going to make this for a guy, then maybe I wouldn't put the bling on there. But otherwise, I just think it looks so cute. Now, you can tuck this all right back in here so you don't lose anything. And I do the same thing with my embossing folders. So they just slide in and out. And there is, whoops, I did not put this together, but I will. There is... Card number three, card number two, and our card number one. Oh, Beth said this would make a cute waterfall card. She is correct. It really would. So there we go. Three quick and easy Valentine's cards to make with our Sweet Talk Suite from the June through, January through June mini catalog. J2J is what we've been calling it. So there we are. I will have all of these and then I'll put one with the um, straight down there. All right, for you tomorrow on my blog. And I hope I'm straight here, there we go. But I do not want you to go away. I will also post my YouTube um, channel on there. And I am going to give away some ribbon tonight. Get my fingers on it. There we go. It's called Ice Cream Parlor. It is discontinued, but it is so cute. Lots of color. I know some of you recognize this. I think this was, oh, quite a few years ago, but you can still use it, so we are going to give that away. So when you leave a comment or like or share um, my videos from my Facebook Lives, um, you get your name in a drawing for the prize. And this is for all the people who sat with me last week and left their comments and or shared the um and what is the, the best, that is like the best thing is when you guys share my stuff because that tells me you like what I do and I really appreciate that. So let's get to the fun and we're going to hit full screen for this. All right, let me get up so I can tuck this under here so you can watch with me. Again, these are all of our participants last week. And you can count down with me. Three, two, one. 
Good luck, everybody. Deb Anderson. Congratulations, Deb. You won the ribbon. Again, I appreciate you all taking time out of your evening to spend it with me. And you can watch me on my YouTube page or, I'm sorry, my YouTube page. Well, yeah, you can because I have a whole lot of videos there for you to watch. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Again, this is the beautiful Sweet Talk Suite on page eight. And with the purchase of this suite, you get one free celebration item and you are only $14 away from two. So if you like the mat or the chamois that I use to clean off my stuff and that beautiful designer paper, there it is again. Um, there's actually two sheets. The pink is getting ready for tomorrow, uh, Thursday evening. Anyways, um, you would get two free items or one of the big items, which I will be sharing. That is a whole special Technique Tuesday. So thank you again for participating and hanging out with me. And you have a wonderful evening and good night.